Welcome back to the Duran Bengals Dynasty. We are live here at Ross Aid Stadium in West Lafayette, Indiana. As Duran will be taking on the Purdue Boilermakers in a Week 11 matchup. First off, I'd like to thank Nike for our new black helmets and black pants as they will look perfect with our black jerseys today as we will be going all black on the road taking on purdue i know it's not normal for a team to wear home uniforms on the road but purdue okayed it with us as they come up with a three and five record we need a win if we win we may actually be ranked so Dobran with the beautiful all black uniforms boy was i excited to debut these today as Akeem Clement as the ball teed up, debuting his uniforms here in his senior year. And this one's underway here from Ross Aid Stadium. Returning it from his own end zone, but he'll take a knee. That was Jackson Anthrop, the redshirt senior out of West Lafayette, the hometown kid. Lou give it to the running back Terrence Hicks here on first and ten. Gets the first down, the freshman out of, Mon out of Missoula, Montana. Then Nick Sipe over the middle. That one's incomplete. It's fourth and one, and Purdue off the punt. Here's Simon Mosby in the Durant offense wearing the all black. And the ball's tipped at the line of scrimmage. It's recovered by Pitts. Goodbye. That's a touchdown, James Pitts, the junior out of Monahans, Texas. He's a pass rusher, 6'3", junior, and he makes a beautiful play to put Purdue up on the board first. And Simon Mosby, the very next play, finds the senior. MJ Cochran, he breaks a tackle into the end zone. 72 yards, arguably the best receiver in the NCAA. Making a beautiful play right there. It's 7-7. Seven seven. Durand and Purdue are tied. What a play from Simon Mosby. Finding his favorite target, M.J. Frickin' Cochran. They're tied up at 7 apiece. Later in the ballgame, it's Purdue ball. Sipes, Debbie Mack will give a delay hit off to Terrence Hicks. He loses four yards on the play. That was Arnett Schaefer getting to him. Then on 3rd and 14, Sipes giving it to Hicks once more. He's going to be brought down, but he does pick up six. But Purdue will have to punt yet again, so it's still 7-7. Seven seven. Mosby on first and 10 will give it to the running back, Brigham Morgan, getting the first down and more as he picked up 17 yards on the play. A 17-yard gain right there, 3rd and 6. Jaquez Pullen enters the game for Durand. It's 3rd and 6. He's going to look for something to throw, but he's going to take off and find the first down with his feet as he gets 10 yards right there. A nice gain from Jaquez Pullen. Then Mosby on 2nd and 10. It's a screen pass to Scott Barron. The speedy backup running back gets the first down using his legs. A 12-yard gain right there. 3rd and 11. Pulling on 3rd and long. Going to air it out. It's tipped. Almost an interception. Jacob Abrams with the deflection. So Durant will have to settle for a field goal. It's 10 to 7. They take it back the lead. Terrence Six gets a 12-yard reception into the backfield there. Then five wide receivers. Sipe throwing it towards the sideline. That's Cutlet. And there he goes. And he's going to be brought down, finally, actually, Catlett, sorry, as Kron Catlett gets a solid gain right there. Back to Terrence Hicks on the ground here on first and 10. Cutting up field and getting the first down, a 20-yard gain for Terrence Hicks. What a game so far. Second and seven, they'll go to the ground, but this time it's Hickman, their backup running back. A nice gain right there from Brandon Hickman, the true freshman out of Blacksburg, Virginia. Declined going to the hometown school, V. T and went to Purdue as a deflection at the line, or actually ran at the goal line. We'll make it fourth and goal, so Purdue will tie it up at 10 apiece. Moves to be on second and five. Ganera deep. Wide open, MJ Cochran. Nobody's catching him. He is gone. The second hit deep ball connection between these two guys. Simon Mosby showing his arm strength. He has the potential to be a first round pick after next season if he decides to go to the NFL draft. Third and 10, Aaron and out deep. It's deflected by Rashad Huggins, elite SWAT, and Purdue off the punt yet again. A bunch of three and outs early for the Boilermakers. Here's Mosby on first and ten. Going to do a little read option keeper and get the first down. An 11-yard gain right there for Simon Mosby. Third and 11 for Mosby, dropping back in the pocket, settling, and he's going to fire it to Kenyon Bauer, and he holds on to it. Oh, my goodness, I couldn't believe he actually held on to that as he was absolutely destroyed by it looks like Simon Smiley, the free safety. Seven-yard game for Scott Barron. That's enough for a first down. It's fourth and 20. We don't have the length for a field goal, so we just go for it. Pullen just going to lob it up into double coverage. And Cochran came down with it. A 34-yard reception. Comment MJ for president if you believe that was the greatest catch you've seen. It wasn't, but it was still a good catch. And Brigham Morgan will run into the end zone for a touchdown as Durant goes up 24-10 to with only a minute to go left in the half. What a run right there from Brigham Morgan. Second and ten for Sipe. Looking for something. He's going to fire it over towards Catlett. There it goes. K-Ron Catlett. A solid gain. The redshirt junior at a hop. Hopkinsville, Kentucky. 
Second and seven, 40 seconds to go. Sipe over the middle to Catlett once again. K-Rod Catlin, yet another catch. It's a 17-yard gain right there, and Purdue continues to move the ball downfield. Sipe on second and 10, looking to move the chains. Gonna fire it, and it's a beautiful sideline grab by Jackson Anthrop, the redshirt senior out of West Lafayette. Second and three, a little lob, and that's Catlett once again. Touchdown, Purdue. The Boilermakers are within a touchdown going into the locker rooms at the half, but Durant has one more play. Must be on first and ten. Pressure's brought. He said as he threw it, it's recovered by Pitts. Is that two touchdowns and a half? No, it's not. Tavero Slaughter brings him down. It's 24-17. Durant leads going into the locker rooms. Despite sloppy first half play, they basically depended on the deep throws from it. Simon Mosby. Can they continue that in the second half? Mosby on first and ten, trying to continue that to start. He was it as he threw. He underthrows it and it's intercepted by Mackey. What a play. The corner, Dedrick Mackey out of Miami, Florida. The redshirt junior makes a spectacular play for the old gold boilermakers, and that's going to be Purdue football. Hicks on second and 12. Gets all 12 yards and a couple of more as Terrence Hicks gets the first down. What a play right there. Third and two. It's a fake to Hicks, but Tyler Jackson sniffs it out, and Nick Sipe is brought down behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four, so Pertula will have to punt. Simon Mosey on first and ten. Can he get up? And no, he can't. A loss of ten on the sack. No time as he was actually brought down fairly quickly. Third and long, Mosby breaks one sack, and he can't get through two. Another sack, and yet another three and up for Durand. A great re punt return for Purdue, as Seip will give it to Hicks on first and ten. Loses four. It's second and 14 for the Boilermakers. Third and four for Seip. Just going to have to throw it away as pressure was brought. So a little trial field goal here. This one's going to be about a 45-yarder. The kick is up. The hold is good for Bumpkin. The kick is up. And it sails wide right. No good. I thought that was easy money, but it sailed on him. It's going to be Durant football. Mosby immediately finding former quarterback Joshua Sims turned receiver. He made the transition this season, and he's done it perfectly. 51-yard reception right there. First and 10. Mosby giving it to Brigham Morgan. Going up the middle and powering his way through an 8-yard gain right there. Third and four. Pulling. Rolling outside the pocket. Looking for something. Hey, he's going to take off. Picks up a block, dives into the end zone, showing his acrobatics. That's a touchdown, and Durand goes up 31-17. to What a play by Jaquez Poland. First and 10 for Sipe. Going to fight towards the sideline. Is caught by Darius Pittman. What a catch. Doing a little tiptoe sideline catch right there at the tight end. And then it gave two Hicks on second and one. Gets the first down right there. Second and five. It's a play fake to Hicks. Sipe going to fire it over towards Pittman once again. The senior out of Gulfport, Mississippi. Fourth and one. They're going to go for it. They'll give it to Brandon Hickman. Cutting to the outside. And he's tripped up by Taylor French at the 10-yard line. It's first and goal. Third and goal for Purdue. Sipe dropping back. Looking for something in the end zone. Just going to lob it up. And a beautiful catch by Cutlet. Or by Cartlett. But they're going to say it's incomplete. His legs hit the back of the end zone. Incomplete. Sipe firing it over this time. Catlett made sure to get in the end zone, both feet in. So Purdue cuts it down to just a one touchdown deficit. It's 31 24. This is prime time. Simon Mosby, show the scouts what you got. Kenyon Power, a nice completion right there. By the way, no recruiting this week, as we are actually done for all of our recruits this season. I'll do a little update at the end of the season. Kenyon Bauer gets a 15-yard reception, and it's a first down for Duran. Two minutes to go. Mosby going to try to end it all here. The 50-50 ball. Aaron Love came to him with it. A 33-yard reception. And Duran may have just iced this one away. Aaron Love, the blackout looking beautiful on him. The bright blue face masks and the stripe. And Duran may have just won this one. A beautiful play right there from Aaron Love. And then a studio update. Even better news. Maryland has lost. I really don't like Maryland ever since our close encounter last year at MetLife Stadium. A two-point win for Indiana. Sipe on first and ten. Going to fire a little lob pass to the outside. That pass is complete to Jonathan Childs. I don't know if he got a foot in, but he did. Third and ten. Another completion. This time it's a Jackson Anthrop. Their leading receiver. That's a first down. A minute 40 to go in the game. Sipe dropping back. His team down by 14. Going to lob it over the middle. That's Catlett for the first down. He's drilled and gets a 30-yard reception as he hangs on. What a play right there by K. Ron Catlett. Sipe on first and ten. Going to lob it to the back of the end zone. It's caught! Jonathan Childs! What a catch! The third string receiver out of Winslow, Arizona. An Elion sidekick. 
If they don't get it, this one's over. It's recovered by Kenyon Bauer. Just get down, and he gets drilled as Durant will win. Yet another conference game and improve to 7-2 and two on the season. One of their best starts in program history. But we will be put to the test in our last three games of the season. We'll be taking on Nebraska in Week 12, Minnesota in Week 13 on the road, and then... Wisconsin in week 14 taking on a couple of twins that we recruited. The Ransom Twins. One's at Iowa State. One is at Wisconsin. So that'll be interesting. If you guys enjoyed this episode of the Durant Bengals Dynasty, please like and subscribe. I will see you guys all next time. Join us for Senior Day against Nebraska. They're ranked 12th. Thank you and goodbye.